Show of hands. How many of you were hit as a kid? Spanked? Hit with a belt? Anything like that? Probably a good majority of people have. It's an incredibly common form of parenting. Parents who do it think the child associates the wrongdoing with the pain, and thus believe that hitting their kid is an effective teaching tool. Except science has proven empirically that corporal punishment is the least effective way to discipline a child, has absolutely no benefits, and is more likely to psychologically damage your child and encourage violence and misbehavior than actually work as an effective tool. I'm serious. In fact, over 54 countries have banned spanking and other forms of corporal punishment in some form or another, specifically because it does more harm than good. Recently, Frank Elgar, a professor of health and social policy at McGill University, did a study of over 400,000 children, teens, and young adults across 88 countries. Of the countries included in the study, 30 have banned corporal punishment completely, 20 have no regulations whatsoever, and the rest have varying ranges in laws. The rates of fighting among adolescents in countries where corporal punishment was completely illegal were substantially lower than in countries with no bans in place, by 69% for adolescent AMABs and 42% less for AFABs. The other 38 countries in the study, which include the United States, Canada, and the UK, have partial bans in schools only. In those countries, adolescent AFABs showed a 56% lower rate of physical fighting, with no change among AMABs. It should be noted that although correlation does not equal causation, this information is substantial enough that it cannot be ignored. In countries where adults are permitted to harm children, the children themselves become more violent as well. But this isn't the only thing that can come as a result of spanking or physically hitting your child. Elizabeth Gershoff, professor of human development and family sciences at the University of Texas, has been studying the effects of corporal punishment on children for over 20 years, and in 2016 released a metadata analysis of over 50 years of data with the help of a colleague. Her conclusion? Corporal punishment is not effective and is in fact psychologically damaging to children. The findings were consistently negative, she said. Although spanking is traditionally supposed to teach a lesson to correct bad behavior, children who were spanked were neither more compliant nor better behaved. In fact, regardless of gender, it was found spanking linked to more aggression, more bad behavior, more mental health problems, worse relationships with parents, and put the children at higher risk for physical abuse from their parents. This was from a pool of over 160,000 children. People often ask, why didn't you look for positive aspects, Gershoff stated. My answer is, we did. And there were none. We see consistently that the more children are spanked, the more behavioral problems they have in the years ahead. Because of the prevalence and repercussions of corporal punishment, a number of human rights groups, including the United Nations, have condemned the practice of spanking and physical discipline. In 2006, the United Nations Convention of the Rights of the Child, or UNCRC, spelled out the right of the child to protection from corporal punishment and other cruel or degrading forms of punishment and continues to recommend prohibition against corporal punishment of children. There is absolutely no scientific justification for corporal punishment. So why is it still used? Why do parents so often try to justify hitting their children? We're all familiar with the phrase, I was spanked as a child and I turned out fine. No, Daryl, you didn't. You believe violence is an effective form of parenting. You are the exact opposite of fine. I have a theory as to why people continue to believe that spanking is a valid form of parenting. It's easy. Hitting your child takes a lot less emotional labor than sitting down with them and having a conversation about why calling the girl next door a mean name is a bad thing to do. It's the same reason why parents constantly say, because I say so, or because I'm the parent and you are the child, instead of giving reasons as to why a child should obey their parents. I think a lot of modern parents, and even our parents, were pressured into having kids they didn't want or weren't ready for. 
So they relied on easy tactics. Lord your power over the child, make them afraid to disobey you. But that isn't effective and we need to be honest about it. When you look at the data, the harm that spanking and other forms of corporal punishment cause is almost indecipherable to the harm done by your standard domestic abuse. And the truth is because corporal punishment and abuse are the same thing. Children need to be educated. They need support, guidance, and patience. These are pivotal to their healthy development, and they're not getting it. I'm not saying to coddle your kids. I'm saying stop taking the easy way out. Child constantly trying to touch a hot stove while you cook? Calmly but persistently take the child out of the room and separate them from the kitchen. Throwing a temper tantrum because of a change in routine? Communicate with them ahead of time about the change so they feel informed and are less likely to throw a fit. Remember that kids are tiny people who don't have any information about the real world. They don't understand how to cope with sudden change or how to understand when something is dangerous for them. As a parent, it's your job to give them that information safely, calmly, and consistently. When you have a child, you make a promise to that child that you will do your best to raise them in a healthy way. That's what parenthood means. When you hit your kids, you admit you failed, and that's the truth. Because when you hit your kids, you prove that you aren't capable of using any other method to teach them to behave themselves. There are articles in the description about the effects of spanking on children, citations on the numbers I've given you, myths about corporal punishment, and how to handle disciplining your kids without violence. Give them a read if you can. Whew, I procrastinated this video for a while. I am so sorry that it took me so long to get it out. Things have been complicated in the past couple days or so, and I've been really tired all the time. Um, my hormone regulators are not working as well as they usually do, so my body is kind of out of whack. I'd like to announce that I am now an affiliate of Pretty Neat Gaming. There's a link to their Twitter profile in the description down below. They're a group of genderqueer, transgender, and other LGBT gamers that basically take care of each other. I applied to be an affiliate in their group, and I was accepted. And it's honestly really awesome. I'm really proud to be affiliated with these people, and I hope that it can help me grow my channel, my streaming, and our community. Secondly, new merch is out in the store. I recently released special winter wear with these Seasons Yeetings shirts and sweaters, and it also comes in mugs and stickers and all sorts of stuff. So, if you have a meme lord in your life that you want to give a good gift, check those out. Lastly, I'm sorry that my uploading has become slightly sporadic lately. My, yeah, winter joint pain has started to act up and it always messes with my bad leg worse. So, getting in and out of bed has become a bit of a hassle. I'm still going to try to upload my regular videos and... I'll try my best to be more consistent, but I can't make any promises until the pain passes or winter is over. That's all I really had to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you stick around.